Hello my YouTube friends and welcome to Creepy Spiders and Ghostly Boo Cookies. Begin icing a spider web shaped cookie with white flood consistency icing. Now with dark gray flood consistency icing and a number one nozzle, start piping the lines from each corner to the opposite corner. Now pipe curved lines from one corner to the corner next to it. Do this all the way around the cookie. Keeping your curved lines one fourth of an inch apart, continue piping inside the spider web. You'll continue this process till the very center. Now use your scribe tool on the gray lines working up upward motion to extenuate the lines. Allow the cookie to dry for 12 to 8 hours. Transfer a black widow spider to your webbed cookie. Using stiff consistency icing, begin piping the legs. Don't forget about extenuating the joints by leaving a little bead. All eight legs are piped in the same method. The bottom part of the leg is the thinnest part, so use less pressure when piping the last part of the leg. Let's not forget the feelers of the spider. Pipe the head before the body. And then go ahead and pipe the body. Allow the spider to dry for about four hours. Paint around the center hourglass shape with gray food paste. This way we'll have a barrier between the black body of the spider and the red hourglass shape of the spider. Continue painting the body of the spider, now starting at the edge where it intersects with the spider web and using the gray food paste.
paint his head the same way, starting at the intersection of the spider web and his head. Now begin painting the legs gray. And all eight legs are going to be painted gray. With red food paste, paint the center portion of the body, the hourglass shape, red. Not that I want to know this about a black widow, but there are three sections to the black widow. There's the two sections that make up the hourglass and then a circle above it. Paint all three sections red. Now we're moving on to the black. Paint the intersection between the body of the spider and the spider itself with black food paste. When working with the black food paste, be mindful to not get any of the black onto the spider web. Use a small brush when working on the legs of the spider and the black food paste. When painting the legs with the black food paste, leave the joints in between the legs gray. She's starting to look creepy. Let's make our spider web look a little more creepy. Using some brown food paste, take your brush in a circular motion 
and paint that brown food paste down towards the center of the spider. With soft consistency gray icing and a number one nozzle, pipe a bead border along the edge of the spider web. Once we finish our bead border, put the cookie to the side to let the beads dry and we'll start our next cookie. Our next cookie is a ghostly boo cookie. We need to flood a plaque cookie with flood consistency icing. With flood consistency gray icing, pipe beads around the plaque. I will not be showing how to scribe the wet on wet roses, but I'll give you the link to my video on YouTube that will show you exactly how to do it. Then pipe smaller black beads on top of the gray bead. Once you scribe your roses, let the cookie dry for eight to 12 hours. I have the most adorable boo plaque that looks just like what is on the cookie. Since it was an easy design, I just drew it freehand so I would have a guide. Let's paint the bee first using gray food paste and a round brush. Begin painting the bee. Be mindful to not paint the inside of the bee completely gray, just a few shadows. We're going to paint the ghosts in the exact same manner we did the bee.
Remember, we just want to shade the ghosts. Using a fan brush, paint over the ghost and the bee just to add a little texture. Assessing my plaque, I have a few harsh lines, so I'm just going to soften them with a brush. I've already painted the foundation for inside the bee. It is done the same way we're going to do the ghost. Using black food paste, we're going to paint inside the empty O hole that we have for the ghost. This is going to lay a dark gray foundation. Now that we have a solid gray foundation painted, we can paint over it using the exact same black food paste and develop a dark, rich black color inside the spaces. Continue painting this layering effect until you've done the middle ghost and the bee. Still using the black food paste, we need to paint the ghost's face. Paint the eyes an oval shape. For the middle ghost mouth, we want him to have an O, oh, he's surprised. And our final ghost is happy, so we're going to paint a thin smile line. 